When you let people upset you, you are giving away your power. You are letting them control you. If they push this button, you get offended. That button, you get upset. This other button, they bait you into conflict. Why don't you turn those buttons off? Life is so much more freeing when you're not controlled by what people say. You're not offended when someone's upset. You're not sour because traffic was bad. You have tapped in to the power to remain calm. A friend of mine named David Polly wrote a book called The Law of the Garbage Truck. He was in a taxi cab in New York City headed to a meeting. A car pulled out right in front of them. The taxi driver had to slam on his brakes, swerve to the left, missing the car by inches. The driver of the other car put his head out the window, started screaming and yelling. He was so angry, so upset, shaking his fist. The funny thing, it was his fault. The taxi driver just smiled, waved real big, and drove on. Didn't give it the time of day. David was in the back seat, and he was so impressed. He said, that man almost totaled your car, almost sent us both to the hospital. I can't believe you didn't yell back at him. How did you keep your cool? The taxi driver gave an insightful answer. He said, I found many people are like garbage trucks. They go around full of anger, full of frustration, full of bitterness. As their garbage piles up, they need somewhere to dump it. And sometimes they'll dump it on you. But you can't take it personally. It has nothing to do with you. Just smile, wish them well, and move on. Here's the key. Successful people don't let garbage trucks overtake their day. If someone dumps a load on you, don't get upset. If you make that mistake, you'll end up carrying around their garbage and eventually you'll dump it on someone else. You have to keep your lid on. These days, many people are dumping frustration, disrespect, criticism, bitterness. We can't stop them from dumping it, but we can keep them from affecting us. Years ago, Victoria and I were at the airport. We were going through the security checkpoint we put our bags on the x-ray machine. The security officer sent them both back and said, you have liquids in there that you have to remove. Victoria said, oh yeah, I forgot to take my water out. Well, I thought he was only talking to Victoria, so I just stood there and didn't do anything. You would have thought I had committed a major crime. He was like totally insulted. He practically screamed, sir, what are you doing standing there? I told you to open the bag and do it now. Thought, man, he's got a big garbage truck and he was full of frustration, full of stress and full of a lot of other stuff. But I didn't say it. You just thought it. But I took care of it. As I passed by him, I said, sorry about that. I thought you were just talking to her. Have a good day. Didn't mean it, but at least I said it. But I thought to myself, I'm keeping my lid on. I don't need his garbage. I don't need that poison. We have enough things of our own to deal with. You don't need somebody else's bitterness, their sour attitude, their pressure. Keep your lid on tight. Let those things bounce off of you. Your destiny is too great. Your time is too important to go around weighed down with other people's garbage. You can't keep it from coming, but you can keep it from getting in you.